I've been asked so many times, how do you bake a model in Blender? Well, I'm going to give you a short tutorial. First, you select the mesh and go into edit mode. And if it's like this, when you split the screen, you go to split area, <clears throat> choose your selection area, and then go down here and go from 3D view to UV image editor. Now, if it's a new model that you've created, it's not going to be mapped at all. And it won't have these little black dots and white boxes. The first thing you want to do, if you do have these though, is put your mouse cursor over here where the model is, press U, go to Smart UV Project, Change the angle limit to 60 and the island margin to 1. And hit OK. And you see over here it's changed and resembles a flat rendering of the mesh. Now go to Image, New Image, you name it, anything you want. Change the width and height to 2048. <clears throat> Remove the alpha selection and hit OK. Now you should notice that it turns black. Okay. Now over here in the material editing, you want to create a new material, assign it. And then go out of edit mode, remove the old material, go back into edit mode, and then play around with the coloring however you want. For this part of the bumper, we're going to want a dark gray, almost black. Okay, you go to this, the world tab. Right here, where it says Emit Occlusion, you want to check that and go right here and select Multiply. Then go to the one, the icon that looks like a camera. Scroll all the way down to this. And if it's the first time you're doing it, it's going to look like that. You hit that, come down here, and Clear will be checked. Uncheck it and set your margin to 2 and then go to ambient occlusion and hit bake and some PCs it takes it a minute some it does it almost instantly it's just you sit and wait after that and you see it was pretty quick now you can see the shapes of the bumper piece was molded into the image and over here it's now a brownish instead of the black that's how you bake mesh like that that's not supposed to be a window if you want to bake the windows it's the same principle just <clears throat> you choose a different thing so smart UV project new image over here you'll see where it's see-through basically just do the same thing go to transparency Check it, change the alpha. Then go back to the camera icon, choose textures, and bake. And now you can see through the windows. And instead of it being a color, it'll be these check boxes. That's how you bake the windows. <clears throat>